Welcome back, guys, to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So one of the most difficult things for some of us when it comes to smoking a pipe isn't selecting the pipe. It's not selecting the tobaccos or how to light it, how to pack it, how to keep it lit, and all that good stuff that I cover on my channel. It's the very fact that you decided to smoke a pipe in the first place. This is a question I get a lot uh, via email, especially from folks of a variety of walks of lives. How do you deal with those who are upset, who look down on you for smoking a pipe? It could be our siblings, our parents, it could be our spouses, and they are concerned with it, Very whether it's for religious region, re reasons or health reasons. Everything in our society says it's wrong to smoke a pipe, uh, or just wrong to smoke, I should say. Um, why would you be smoking? Um, or they think that maybe the Bible says smoking's bad or, or something along the lines of that. And so this can be a very discouraging thing. It can make us get out of the hobby immediately. But we want to handle this with care, and hopefully we can win them over or at least cause the argument to set, simmer down a bit. So I want to try to help you in this video in guiding, uh, giving you directions and, and how to handle such conversations. But let me say up front, uh, I'm probably not going to give you the clear cut answer. Uh, this is not always black and white and how to handle those situations and conversations. It depends on who you're talking to. It depends on how heated they are and how against it they are and how old you are and what the relationship is between you and them and things like that. So um, we need to handle with care and we want to handle it in a way that's graceful where we don't turn them off and shut them down, not only to ourselves, you know, make them incredibly upset and angry with us because we are jerks about it, but also giving them a bad light uh, or bad image of pipe smoking itself. And that's something we want to always keep in mind when we are talking about pipe smoking. So uh, what are some ways we can handle that? Well, um, first, let me, let me handle those who are concerned with health. All right, so this can be your parents, you know, depending on your age, your parents, it can be your spouse, uh, what have you, whatever this relationship is. Um, I, th I found out a lot of this, a lot of the angst, a lot of the, the comments, even on my YouTube channel, by the way, are folks who, frankly, they, they're, they're ignorant. And I mean that in the best way. I don't mean stupid. I mean what ignorance means. Ignorance means a lack of knowledge about something. And there's a lack of knowledge about pipe smoking, even among pipe smokers. If you're not aware, I did several videos on pipe health, and I brought in uh, experts, uh, health experts, those in the health field who would give good information about our health and pipe smoking. And they're not all saying, hey, it's all good, just go ahead and do it. They are giving us some concerns. And I also brought in some uh, and uh, read over some studies that had directed pipe smoking or addressed pipe smoking. Please watch those I, for your sake and you may even be able to get your loved ones to watch those or refer to those things in your conversations with them. For instance, just a couple of things that come to mind that are misunderstood. Pipe smoking is a different substance. It's a different thing than cigarettes. And you think, well, no, they both have tobacco. But we know there's a lot going into cigarettes, especially nowadays, than pipe smoking from the paper and the chemicals on the paper all the way down to the material substances and chemicals in the tobacco mixture itself. There is a big difference. It's apples and oranges. I don't care what someone says. It just frankly is. That's not saying that pipe smoking has no risk, but it still is a very different substance. Secondly, we don't inhale, especially uh, on purpose, pipe smokers don't inhale into the lungs. At least I haven't met any who have. We inhaled up to the back of our tongue, maybe a bit to our throat and we exhale and that's a huge difference in fact i can tell when i inhale into my lungs intentionally occasionally it happens on accident because i'm not paying attention and yeah it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel natural and i usually kind of <clears throat> cough it back out there's a big difference in those two facts alone and we have to make sure we share those things make them aware and and do it so gracefully like hey i i understand what what you've heard about cigarette smoking, but uh, can I share with you some things about pipe smoking that are different? We need to make them aware um, and make them and educate them on these facts and these understandings. Uh, there is a difference that we must address with pipe smoking when it comes to health. Doesn't mean we say there's no problems with it or we don't need to worry about our health or anything like that. But quite frankly, there's a lot of other things going on in life 
around the air around us, uh, the food we're eating, that are probably more of a risk to our health than pipe smoking itself. So there's a health side, and we want to address it that way, and, and, and hopefully they understand, and hopefully they let it settle, and we can move on. On the other side, there's the religious aspect, where that's ah, bad, it's a sin, it's, the Bible says it's wrong to smoke a pipe. And, and I have pastors who are asking, how do you handle this with a congregation? Um, or I have people who are in a church, and they're asking, what did they find out? Uh, let, let me say uh, how I've handled it in my church, because I am a pastor, if you're not aware, how I've handled this. And this can help with those of you who are just concerned about it with health reasons as well. I pretty constantly work out. I try to stay fit and healthy. Um, I, I lift and exercise pretty regularly. But I don't think everyone knows about it. In fact, probably most don't. And, and the reason why is because I don't flaunt it. Um, I, don't, uh, I don't announce it on social media. Um, you're not going to see workout paraphernalia around my house. Um, you know, I, I might have some like protein powder up in a shelf, but it's in, the, it's in, a, it's in a cupboard, right? It's not out in the open. Um, and you can ask me about it, and someone at church or someone who I know, a friend, asks me, hey, do you work out? I'm going to say, hey, yeah, I work out. I do this and this, and I work out this often, and I'll share them that information. By and large, I think that's how we should handle pipe smoking with those who we may be concerned with or those who we think are con- going to be concerned with it. Uh, so with my church, I don't flaunt pipe smoking. Um, I have my Facebook picture with a pipe in my mouth, actually. So that's that has changed over the years. But I, I don't talk about it much on social media, especially my main pro- personal Facebook page. Um, I don't bring it up in conversation. But some do know about it because it's been asked or they've seen me. They come in my office and they have my, my pipe rack is here. Uh, I have some pipe tins out and around about me. And so they'll come into my home, my home study, uh, my home office, and they'll see it and it will come up a conversation and it's usually handled well. So, um, bring it up organically, naturally. I, I would say don't hide it, but don't, don't flaunt it. Uh, oftentimes when we flaunt things, it just automatically brings conflict. And so we, we kind of want to handle it just like anything else we do and handle it naturally. Uh, secondly, I would say, are you envisioning conflict when there may in fact not be any conflict? And I find this out, I found this out for myself <clears throat> and I find this out with others who have, I've, I've had conversations with, they think there's going to be conflict about this, but real, really the reality is there isn't, we're, we're building it all in our head. Um, out of all the ways we can smoke, pipe smoking is the most accepted. Frank, fortunately, that's still the case. I know that's maybe changing a bit. It's still the case. Many see grandpa and um, the dad and the uncles pipe smoking. And so uh, you, you might be building up tension when there is, in fact, no tension. But say there is tension. Say someone says, well, you're pipe smoking and that's wrong. It, uh, you shouldn't be pipe smoking. Um, ask them, well, why do you think so? Um, how how did you come about that? And and oftentimes they're going to pull out maybe just a the idea that well it's bad for your health. Well, we uh, maybe it could be, but there's a lot of things we do that are bad for our health, isn't there? Like eating hamburgers is not exactly good for health. You don't need to be a scientist. You don't need to be a, a doctor to know eating hamburgers is bad for your health. It really is not good for your health or pizza or anything else like that. Um, but maybe they'll pull out a Bible verse like, uh, well, uh, we're supposed to be temples or what have you. And I'm going to cover that in another video because I think that's a highly misused passage in 1 Corinthians that we are temples and we have to do this and this to, well, I guess, watch our health would be the argument. Um, but, but quite frankly, this is something that falls under Christian liberty. And I have touched on this in another video. You can watch that if you will. I, I do want to approach it again in an upcoming video. But... Uh, Let me just say in short, there is no passage that talks about um, something inherently being sinful, like smoking. Um, In Mark 7, Jesus says it's what's in our heart, what's already in the body that is sinful. And that is the the condition of our hearts. Um, Our hearts are sinful and we make idols. Something that goes into our body uh, that is causing us to sin, but what comes out. And so we, we need to handle these things with care. 
And uh, for those of us who are Christians, we need to go back to Scripture and say, look, um, actually, I, I, I think that would be a wrong way to understand it. And go back and um, go back to God's Word and explain that um, the Bible doesn't say that, actually. It, it, it doesn't address smoking, number one, <laughs> because that wasn't the case then. But it also gives us an understanding of Christian liberty. So um, this, this is a huge topic on Christian liberty and what we can and can't do. And that's something that's often really misunderstood in, in the church and Christian circles. And so uh, we, we want to handle that with care and we want to handle the pushback with care. Um, not, not everyone has that understanding. Um, and, and if they don't have that understanding, that doesn't mean you need to stop. Uh, because this is something that should not be something that, that disconnects and destroys. And so when we have these issues, handle those situations, handle those discussions with grace, no matter the pushback. They're going to say something mean or wrong. They're going to say that you're, um, you're killing yourself. They're going to say you're in sin. And we need to, there in these situations, Kind of back with my recent video on arguments, we need to handle those situations with grace and patience and calmness and say, I know why you're saying that. I could understand your, your point of view, but I, I think you're wrong here. And so when, you, when you're in these situations, let's just be sure we don't, uh, we don't cut bridges. Uh, we try to handle it with grace. Um, and every situ situation will be different. And going forward, uh, I'll, I'll try to touch more on the Christian liberty side of things. But hopefully this gives you just a, a, a basis on how to address them, whether it's in the church or whether it's friends and family concerned with health um, or whatever the case may be. If you have questions on this, feel free to leave them below and I'll try to get to them if I can and try to help you along with it. But guys, that's all I have today. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing, you're blessed. And we'll talk to you very soon.